Welcome my political friends of the interwebs. This will not be a bench talk video. This will be, you know, I don't know. It'll be what it is. That's what it is. It'll be what it is. So a friend of mine calls me up and he says to me, hey, I just want to give you the heads up. Sheila Jackson is going to be on the Jon Stewart show on Comedy Central tonight. I know you don't watch it, so I just thought I'd let you know. And he's right. I don't watch the uh, Jon Stewart show um, at all. So... But I would make an exception because John Stewart was going to have Sheila Jackson on. And, you know, uh, let's be honest, she holds a lot of cards these days and has a, well, she has put a major impact on my life. So I'm going to watch this woman for sure. So I tune in and uh, sure enough, John Stewart calls her name and she comes sashaying out. Now, for those of you who don't know real, quick, real quickly, Sheila Jackson is the head of the EPA. And uh, she has assumed an awful lot of power for herself. And I think the American people have no clue what this woman's all about um, or the kind of power that she's starting to wield. And she's only been able to get away with that because they're, you know, the, the Republicans are such minorities in, in both houses. Hopefully come November, that'll all change. However, having said that, for the time being, she is, for all intents and purposes, a queen <laughs> with a lot of power. So she comes sashaying out. By the way, she's a she's a large woman. She's she's a she's a she's a big woman. Um, I don't know. She's probably about five foot two or three, and probably goes about one seventy. I would say, but she comes sashaying out, draped in jewelry. <laughs> I mean, she's got these big old hoop earrings on, and then she's got this monstrosity of a metallic necklace that just kind of it's huge, and it and it kind of lays down in between her bosoms, her bosoms. It just, it's, it's really a sight to see. But, you know, when I see this, the first thing that comes to mind to me is, you know, much like every environmentalist wacko chick I've ever known in my life, she's a freaking hypocrite. I mean, seriously, a, 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 just every one of them I've ever met, extremely hypocritical about the whole situation. Either a hypocrite or just stupid you know a lot of them are just ignorant you know they spew this environmental crap but they're, they're really ignorant about what's what the reality is so why do i bring this up well let me tell you something <laughs> considering she was probably wearing five pounds of metal on her body and i don't know what the metal consisted of it some of it looked silver could have been white gold you know she i know she had gold rings on but you know here's the thing people don't get and what i mean by people i mean environmental wackos the fact of the matter is, is this. <laughs> Without mining, you don't have gold. Without mining, you don't have silver. Because both those things are mined. <laughs> you know, you dig into the earth and you yank it out. You know the number one byproduct of coal mining is mercury? Yeah, that's right. Mercury. Number one byproduct of coal mining. But you don't hear Miss Jackson saying, we need to stop mining gold in this here country because it's destroying the environment. Hell no, you don't hear that. <laughs> and you're never going to hear that from her. But she's all up Cole, man. She's up Cole's ass. You know, and by the way, you're looking at a pile of coal. And I put that out there to show my solidarity with the miners who have lost their jobs uh, since April 1st due to Sheila Jackson's new clarification of the Clean Water Act. I also put that out there for my solidarity with the mining... Um, offshoots the coal truck drivers the engineers and conductors that uh, operate the coal trains and every other single job that's been lost because of sheila jackson the hypocrite that's what she is she's an absolute hypocrite you know i mean here she comes sashing out there with all this metal on her body you know here's the thing a lot of people don't realize speaking of metal you go to pittsburgh they make steel you know what they use to make steel? They use coke. You know what coke is? It's refined coal. <laughs> no coal, no steel. Well, you know, here's the thing. The way Miss Jackson's uh, running the uh, EPA, she's literally stamping out coal. And everybody, you know, and most of these people that consider themselves environmentalists really have no clue. They really don't. They'll run their mouth like they've got a clue, but they really ultimately have no clue. Now, ordinarily, when people run their mouth without a clue, I just kind of blow it off. But unfortunately, in today's world, 
the idiots that back Sheila Jackson and the idiots that run their mouth, you know, without having a clue, are affecting tens of thousands of people in a negative way. I mean, it's seriously, in a negative way. People are losing their jobs or being laid off. You know, previously people could feed their families, and now, you know what, here's the thing. They, you take people that were contributors to society and paying taxes and, and you know, and, and, and living a good life, and then all of a sudden you've put them on the government dole. I mean, you know, they'll still be able to eat because, you know, you can get food stamps. You know, I mean, the government will bail out banks and the government will bail out the automotive industry. But you take an industry that's functioning perfectly like the coal industry. And the government, the, the government doesn't need to bail them out, but the government's going to destroy them. I mean, how ridiculous is that? I think West Virginia was estimated to lose like 64,000 coal-related jobs because of Sheila Jackson. I mean, you know. Anyway, I could go on and on about this, but I just got done watching this crazy bitch, and I wanted to come on here and do a little rant. Um, but, yeah, you know, Sheila Jackson's a nut job. Uh, I feel for you people in the coal industry. I feel your pain. Believe me, I feel your pain. It's hitting me, too. You know. Let's just hope we can make it. And hopefully, no, come November, things change. Um, and God help us if, if, if President Hussein gets another term in this country. You know, people, we need to work together on this to make sure that Obama does not get reelected. That's got to be the number one goal. He does not need to get reelected. And now, having said that, please understand, everybody, nobody needs to harm a hair on that man's head because we don't need that in our life. But we do need to make sure and work together to make to ensure that he does not get reelected. And if you can, you know what? Call the EPA. A phone, you know, you can look the phone number up on the web. Call the EPA and tell Miss Jackson she can kiss your ass. <laughs> you know. Anyway, uh, that's that's all I got to say. I just wanted to rant a little bit about that crazy hypocritical bitch. Um, everybody, I hope you're having a good night. Take care.